Hello, my beautiful soul followers. Good evening if you are in the U.S. So, I never live stream this late. I don't usually live stream this late. And you can probably hear the cat. my cat is attacking the door because she wants in the office space to come snuggle with mommy because it's nighttime and she usually snuggles with mommy at nighttime. But anyway... Um, I just felt really, I had all this energy on this topic tonight and I was like, I'm going to just get on and share. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to save it for tomorrow because the energy will be different tomorrow. So we get a intimate, cozy Addison in her, her comfy clothes, my, my Sarah Bareilles t-shirt kind of energy tonight. So earlier today I was having this conversation and somebody in my life about just doing what we have to do in life sometimes. And this does actually apply to sex, but it's not the sexiest conversation. I teach on the orgasmic life. I teach the orgasmic frequency of our lives and staying in that pleasurable space and really rocking it out and having the yummy, juicy feelings. However, However, a lot of people think that that means that everything has to be pleasurable. Everything in our life has to feel easy and fluid. And you know what? You can get to a space where things, thing, you are vibing so high that things, for the most part, are in flow, at ease, and really quite amazing. But sometimes in our lives, sometimes spirit wants us to do the fucking work. Sometimes it is a grind, whether that grind is, you know, career, building a business, or in your bedroom. Um, earlier this week, I was doing a session with, with one of my clients that I hadn't seen in a while, and this person was sharing some of the things going on, on in their body with me. And I had to to slow this this client down and talk about the fact that sometimes we have to go through the pain of our sex. Yeah, the pain of our sex. We have to de-thaw all the stuckness in our bodies. We have to sit through kind of that numbness, but, but know that at the other end of that is pleasure. We then also sometimes have to sit in that pain, in that discomfort, in order to get to a space of pleasure. But we think, and I, I know that um, we have generations coming up that think it should be easy and there should be no grind and it shouldn't, it should be, be, you know, one, two, three, all positive and amazing. I know you can bring positivity to your attitude, but sometimes things do feel difficult and you do have to do the work. You have to show up for yourself. And you know what? I've, I've seen throughout my, my business, through my life, the fact is sometimes you just, I've shown up. I've shown up for myself and done things that I didn't really want to do. You know, whether that's errands, whether that's when I was younger, getting a second job at, at times, whether that was when I was first new in my tantric work, the reason I entered Tantra was because I had such pain when I was having sex or even, you know, there, there was so much trauma and, and buildup and blockages in my sex that the very beginning of my, my tantric training, coaching, all of that was actually quite uncomfortable. And we like to stay out of the discomfort. We like to stay out of the discomfort of, of, you know, of change in our lives. We want to stay out of the discomfort of difficult conversations. We want to stay out of the discomfort of, you know, maybe exercising. And the fact is we can bring pleasure into those things. It's not that we have to grind, we have to have this horrible, horrible attitude that's not what I'm talking about here, but it is about sometimes just showing up. And guess what? When you show up for self, there is a pleasure in that. Sometimes when you are hustling, and I'm not that person who believes in 
it has to be a constant hustle. But sometimes when you find yourself hustling, you can find that joy and pride in self for doing what you have to do, doing what you want to do for a goal that is bigger and brighter and something you really desire. I remember starting my business years ago and I remember the um, just like the emotional stuff I had to go through and kept pushing through and kept being resilient. And I remember in my sex, I remember in so many areas of my life, this push through the doing what you have to do. That I've had relationships or I've had to have difficult conversations and I didn't want to fucking do it. I didn't want to do it. It was uncomfortable. But I did it. I did it. And so like today I was running some errands. I had a whole day full of, full of, I had a good conversation this morning, had a brunch with a friend, but then I had a ton of errands to do and I was like, I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to adult today. I don't want to adult today. But I did it. And you know what? And I know that's a silly one, like errands, like big deal. I just like, yeah, I do some errands, but I was like, ugh, a whole day of adulting errands. And you know what? It, I made it fun. I turned on some Abraham Hicks. I did some gratitudes. I did some rampages. I listened to an audiobook. I got, got my vibe going. I got really inspired and was really thinking and giving myself some time to go internal while I was doing these errands. And you know what? It was an amazing fucking day. It was an amazing day. It was fluid and flowing while I was hustling, while I was doing some level of a hustle. So whether it is in your bedroom, because guess what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in the bedroom. If you want pleasure in your bedroom, if you want pleasure in your life, sometimes you do have to fucking do what you need to do in life. And so when I talk about the orgasmic life, I don't, do not want anyone to think that that means that it's always gonna be easy peasy, you know, pleasure. Because sometimes, when we dig into the discomfort, that's actually where we find the most pleasure because it opens us up to that next level. It opens us up to what we truly desire or what is truly aligned for us, what is soul aligned. And sometimes that growth comes in, in pushing ourselves to places we don't think we can even go. But that's where some of the magic happens. And I think that's where all the magic happens. I think magic can happen in all different kinds of ways. I think growth can happen in all kinds of different ways. But sometimes the magic happens in those, those times where you think you're going to break. You're, you're pushing yourself emotionally, maybe physically, energetically. You're expanding what Kabbalists would call your vessel. And that's where the ma magic happens. That's where the abundance comes in. That's where the blessings come in. That's where you have, have shown yourself and spirit, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I truly desire this. I truly want it. And that doesn't take out law of attraction and all that. So I'm not, not poo-pooing all of that. I'm just saying that sometimes we got to do what we got to do. And that growth sometimes requires some discomfort. And we can choose, can choose our viewpoint on that. So, whether you're like my client who's struggling in the bedroom right now and really just needs to sit and work with their body and dethaw all that, that numbness and the pain and the discomfort so that they can have pleasure with their partner because it's so available, or whether it is an entrepreneur out there and you are in this space of going, should I, I want to keep going, but can I keep going? Keep fucking going. Keep doing it. And yeah, you might have to get a second job. Yeah, you might have to hustle a little bit more, wake up a little earlier. You know, whether that's, maybe you're trying to find somebody to date and maybe you're going to hustle in a different kind of way. But yeah, it might be uncomfortable. You might have to step out of your comfort zone of what you usually do. So, I really want you all tonight, with since I was just inspired to do this um, late at night, 
I want you to really think about where maybe you need to push yourself a little bit more, hustle a little bit more, and just do what you got to do, but do it from a positive mindset. Do it from that soul-inspired place of keeping your eye on, on the prize and your dreams and your goals and feeling good about yourself for making progress in your life. So, anyway, I have a screaming kitten out, outside the office space. So I'm going to go snuggle with her so she can stop screaming at me. Um, but I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night. If you are interested in getting a kick in the ass for me and some love and some love. I love all my clients, whether that's online or in person, energy or um, just straight coaching, then reach out to me at addisonbuild.net and I would love to talk to you about how we can move you forward. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow for probably a sexier conversation. Um, so have a beautiful night, guys. Love you. Bye.